Hi, um, this is the still class number two, part three. This is actually the second part of part three because I was waiting for everything to load. And um, like I say, if, I mean, once, once everything is fine loaded, I did not program anything. I just went with the default values and settings that I showed you before and then you just click on here and then it selects the emulator that you want it and in this case it loads and this is the application so here is the emulator and this is the home button so here we can see the apps and then the name of my app is my application and it just says hello world so this is the emulator so we're doing this because we're going to be developing a mobile web app and then uh, we will use the emulator just to see that app. We're not actually going to be using the Android Studio for the full development because in that way it will be a native application and that will be a totally different class. But let's just understand the very basics so that, that we will need. Like uh, in the PowerPoint, we were making reference to Eclipse. There was an, another environment, but now uh, at that time, this was a better version and it wasn't fully functional. So now I think Android Studio is, is perfect. So in the Java R that we can see here in this folder, it is my main activity, Java, and then the main activity, uh, it should be familiar. So um, look that we got here the set content view with activity, and this is the name of the main activity. And then here is displaying activity underscore main, which is the name of my XML file that is here on layout. And you see here there is still a resources file folder, I'm sorry, here. And then here there is a layout folder. And then this has the interface. So these are the two files that right now I want you to check. So the main activity Java and the activity underscore main. And you check into the Java file. So here you have a graphical way of seeing the interface, which is going to be the hello. Or we can actually uh, see the, uh, the XML text. So here we see those design text. So this is the text that we were discussing. So here you see it's a relative layout. Then it closes over here, and inside there is just a text view. So we can go and see here the values. There is a string file that we want to see. This is the values for the string. So here is the name of the string hello. It says hello there, and that's the one that is going to be displayed here. Right. Okay. Um, this is this is the only thing that I want you to do today. I mean, you just get ready and understand these two files. Another important file that you have time you can look at the manifest, but we will talk about that later in another tutorial.